Hi, my name is Mallory Foreman, and I really appreciate your feedback on the position. Um, I look forward to going forward in the interview process. Um, so a little bit about me is I just graduated, not just, but I graduated um, from 2020, in 2020 with my degree in human resource management with a minor in business administration. Um, while I was in school, I worked as a sales associate and customer service representative for a health and wellness company, as well as a hair salon. So I have lots of customer service experience, lots of sales experience. I did that for years. Um, <clears throat> and then while I was in my last semester of college, I was also eight, nine months pregnant, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And it was COVID at the time. So it was really hard to find a human resource position or a business position, believe it or not, at the time. So I knew, you know, teachers are always hiring and I love teaching. I tutored for a very long time in school, all through college I tutored. So I thought, why not give it a try? And so I got my te nine months pregnant. I got my teaching certificate in the state of Texas and began teaching sixth grade math at Days of Allah Middle School. I really enjoyed that. It opened up a new world to me in regarding creating relationships, data tracking, lesson planning, just kind of growing me professionally in so many different ways. Um, and then I decided to transfer schools. So then I transferred to Strike Middle School and became a sixth grade social studies teacher and athletic coach. So I got to also coach soccer, track, volleyball. It was lots of fun. Um, but then we decided to move. So we actually moved from Texas to this town called Tahlequah, Oklahoma, um, about an hour east of Tulsa. It's a little itty bitty town. Um, and when we moved, because it was out of state, I couldn't, you know, transfer over my teaching certificate. And so I was trying to think, you know, what do I really want to do? And I kept going back to human resources. I got my degree in it for a reason. I loved it. And the class that I loved the most was um, staffing recruitment. So I really knew that, you know, I wanted to do recruiting. So I was lucky enough to get a position at Aviana Healthcare, which is the position that I'm currently in now um, as a recruiter. I have learn so much about creating those relationships, hearing people out, um, ATSs, um, Excel, Outlook. It's really been a great learning experience for me um, in those regards. And then, so that being said, my understanding of online coaching in the marketing industry, um, I actually, since I had taught, I know a lot about online coaching and not so much marketing, but online classes and doing online trainings. Um, I did hundreds of hours of it when I was teaching as well as when I was in college. I was strictly almost all online in school. So I had a lot of experience in Canvas and um, Blackboard. Um, the reason why I want to work with you is I believe my skill set slides in perfectly with what you're looking for. And as a company, I see lots of growth in your company and I myself want to grow professionally as well as personally and I think that me being in this position will allow both to happen so me grow professionally as well as growing with the company and you know retaining my position and seeing where that leads me um so again in a year from now I would like to you know gain more skills in recruiting go with the company keep growing professionally and personally learn more skills learn about the industry and just really roll with it. Um, and how would I describe my work personality? Well, I can pretty much talk to anyone. I can talk to a rock. Um, I can usually get a rock to talk back. <laughs> um, I can create relationships with nearly anyone. Um, I am all about teamwork. You know, if I have a question, I'm definitely not afraid to ask. And I think that's really important. Um, any place that I've ever worked will tell you that I'm an incredibly fast learner. And I think that's because I'm not afraid to ask questions um, and because I want to get it right and I want to do the job to the best of my ability. Um, and other ways I've invested in myself, I really think um, college, of course, was always a great investment in yourself. But I think the experience I've had after college teaching as well as recruiting really has given me investments and return on investments and just growth professionally. Um, you know, before I was just, you know, I was working at a hair salon. I was working at a health and wellness store. I just, I didn't have that professional experience until I did my HR internship. And I was 
brought into that corporate world. Well, it was a nonprofit, but you know what I mean. <laughs> um, and so I really began to develop myself professionally. And I think that's a great investment in yourself is always being open to new experiences, always saying yes. If someone asks you to do something, you know, say yes, be open to those opportunities because you never know where they can lead you. You never know how they can grow you and you never know how they can educate you in the long run. So always say yes and always invest in yourself. Um, I really appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, and again, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much.